This is going to be a quick lesson about the metric system. This is lesson 14D. And the previous parts of 14, A, B, and C, are linked in this description with other helpful videos. And the metric system uses three basic units for measuring. For meters, which has an abbreviation of M, that's for length. Gram, that has an abbreviation of G, that's for weight or mass. Liter, that's an abbreviation of L, is for volume. For larger or smaller increments of these units, we add a prefix to them. And here they are. We've got milli, that means one thousandth, centi means one hundredth, deci means one tenth, and then we have deca, that means ten, hecto, that means one hundred, and kilo, which means one thousand. The metric system is based on the powers of 10. This means that we can easily convert metric units by moving a decimal point to the left or the right, the right or the left. It's that simple, okay? So here's a chart. looks just like the one in your book. And you can see here we've got the prefixes. Here's the three base words, meter, gram, or liter. And then here's the smaller units. So this is smaller than a meter, gram, or liter. This is larger than a meter, gram, or liter. These are their prefixes. We move the decimal to the right if we want to convert from to a smaller unit. So let's say we're at hecto and we want to convert it to centi. Well, that's a smaller unit. Centi is a smaller unit we're converting it to. So we're going to move the decimal, these hops, to the left. If we're at deci and we want to convert it to kilo, then we're going to hop to the right because we're moving to a larger unit, see? So, for meters, here's a few of them. One kilometer is 1,000 meters. See, it tells you it's 1,000 of them. A hectometer is 100 meters. A decameter is 10 meters. And a decimeter is one-tenth of a meter, see? Centi would be one-hundredth. This would be one-thousandth of a meter. So if we have two centimeters and we want to change it to millimeters, well, here's centi and here's milli. So we're going smaller. So that means we're going to move to the left because we're going smaller. So the decimal place from centi to milli is one hop. We're going to move the decimal one hop to the left. We're going to put a zero as a placeholder. So two centimeters is the same thing as 20 millimeters. See that? For grams, one kilogram is 1,000 grams. One hectogram is 100. One decagram is 10. And one decigram is one-tenth of a gram. If we have four decigrams and we want to figure out how many milligrams it is, well, we look at the deci. Here's milli. We're going to go two hops. One, two. Because we're going to a smaller unit, we do two hops to the left. We put zeros as placeholders. Four decigrams is equal to 400 milligrams. Same thing with liters. 1,000 kiloliters, I'm sorry, one kiloliter is 1,000 liters. One hectoliter is 100. One decaliter is 10. And one deciliter is one-tenth of a liter. If we want to move from five liters to some amount of milliliters, well, here's liters. If we want to move to milliliters, we have to go one, two, three hops. And we're going to a smaller unit, so we're hopping to the left. And we were at five, and there's an invisible decimal point after the five, isn't there? So we're going to go one, two, three, put a decimal point, and put in the zeros as placeholders. So five liters is equal to 5,000 milliliters. If we have 50 milliliters and we want to convert it to decaliters, well, now we're going larger. We're at milliliters, and we want to go to decaliters. We're going to go one, two, three, four hops. And the decimal point goes from back here behind the zero. One, two, three, four hops. We put in a couple zeros as placeholders. We know that 50 milliliters is equal to 0 0.005 decaliters. We don't really need that zero back here. We could use it, but we know... On this side of a decimal, we don't need to put the zeros, do we? We can put them there if we want to, but they're not necessary, right? How many centimeters are in three kilometers? 
or kilometers. It depends on where you're from and how you pronounce that. So we're going to go and change three kilometers into centimeters. So here's kilometers and centimeters are way over here. So let's count the hops. One, two, three, four, five hops. So we're going to do five hops for this three. And the invisible decimal is behind the three. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Put zeros in as placeholders. And we see we have 300,000 centimeters in three kilometers. Okay? So even though this is here, that's counted as a hop. Okay? That gets counted. All right? To change 4,000 milligrams to grams, here's milligrams. Here's grams. We're changing it to a larger amount. We're going from... 4,000 milligrams, 2 grams. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3 hops to the right. So we had 4,000 and the decimal was back here. We're going to go 1, 2, 3 hops. The decimal is going to go right in between this 4 and this 0. So 4,000 milligrams is equal to 4 grams. If a carton of milk is 1.89 liters, how many kiloliters is this? Well, kiloliters are much larger so we're going to move to a larger amount. So the decimal is going to hop to the right. To go from liters to kiloliters, we have to go one, two, three hops. So this decimal is going to go from in between the one and the eight, one, two, three hops. We put in some zeros as placeholders, and we've moved our decimal. See? Now, we talked about addition and uh, subtraction of decimals, and we talked about changing a fraction to a decimal. The fraction to a decimal was video 10B, and that's going to come up. Emma has four pieces of rope. She's got 32 centimeters, 146 centimeters, and five and a half meters. What is the total length in centimeters? Well, this one's five and a half meters, so we need to convert it to centimeters. And we're going from meters to centimeters. That's, a, that's going to smaller units because a meter is bigger than a centimeter. And here's meter. Here's centimeter. We're going to go one, two hops. So changing it to a decimal, the five and a half is a 5.5, isn't it? So we're going to go from here, two hops. So we have 550 centimeters. See how I did that? Then we can add the 32 centimeters and the 146 to it and get a total of 728. So it's really important that you know how to change a fraction to a decimal here, okay? There's a link to this video if you need it, okay? We're going to be adding and subtracting decimals even though you might be converting them in a metric way, okay? So Dave hiked 2.38 kilometers on Monday and 1.503 kilometers on Tuesday. How far did he hike in all? Well, this has more digits than this one, but we could put a zero as a placeholder, couldn't we? And we just add them up and we line the decimal point up nice and pretty, right? That was video 9A. We talked about adding and subtracting decimals. And you can use a placeholder, a zero placeholder there if you need, if this was subtraction. And we could regroup and borrow from the 8 and turn that into a 10, right? That's if we were subtracting. So if you're confused about that, you need to go back to video 9A. How many meters did Dave hike? Well, he hiked 3.883 kilometers. How many meters is that? And the kilometers is way over here. Sorry about the glare. The kilometers is way over here at the end, and we need to change it to meters. So we're going smaller by one, two, three hops. So this is how many kilometers he walked. We need to hop that decimal place three hops to the left. One, two, three. So the 3.883 kilometers is equal to 3,883 meters. See? Just remember... To go to a smaller unit, you go to the left. To go to a larger unit, you go to the right. Okay? And you should be ready to do the skill focus on page 169 now. And we're going to talk about perimeter next. Perimeter of polygons in Lesson 15A. I'm going to have links to these helpful videos about the metric system and that video to 10B and 9A.
that'll help you with changing a fraction to a decimal and adding and subtracting decimals. And I think 9b even talks about multiplying and dividing decimals. So you should know all of that by now. You should know everything up to lesson 14 by now because we're moving on to lesson 15. And if you look at our chart and you see how far we've come, these are all the grade school, high school, middle school lessons that correlate with the GED lessons coming down this way. See? We're now in Unit 2 at Lesson 14, right here where this is pointing. See? And we're moving to Lesson 15. So we're still doing some stuff that's covered in grade school, but as soon as we get to Lesson 18, that's the point of no return because that's all middle school and higher. So you really need to know all of these down here, these earlier lessons, because once we get to lesson 18, it's going to get harder, okay? So I want to help you out as much as I can, and I don't want you to feel confused, because if you do, you don't quit. You just retreat, regroup, and attack again, right? Because we're having grit. We're being tough. We're having courage and endurance, all right? I believe in you, and I'll see you next video. Bye.